Hey guys, welcome to my guide on how to capture Azur Dragon in Yokai Watch. For those who do not know, Azur Dragon is the rare form of the Dragon Lord Yokai and can only be found in the Infinite Inferno. So that makes it really hard to get, but with my advice, you should have one of your own in due time. But the first step in obtaining this yokai is we need to go to the fourth floor of the Infinite Inferno. So let's go do that right now. And once we've made it to the fourth floor, all we have to do is take two rights to get to the special room in which he can spawn. Now, it is true that this yokai can appear in multiple rooms inside of the Infinite Inferno, but this is the best room to spawn him. And we got Mama Aura. That's okay, though. Basically, we can soft reset the room by simply going through this door multiple times. Now, this may take a minute. This may take an hour. It's completely random. However, if we do get him, we have a high chance of recruiting him once I show off my specific strategy. And oh my god, it'd be nice if he showed up on recording, but I guess not. Oh my god, this may take a while. <laughs> Okay, we found him. Nice. All right. So this is the Azur Dragon. If you see him, make sure to battle him because he does not show up very often. However, once we see him, we need to do some specific steps. First off, give him a chili shrimp. Since his favorite food is Chinese food, give it to him to start off. That will give you one heart. Next, we need to destroy the draggy that will accompany him because we do not want to recruit these yokai. We want to recruit Azur Dragon. And if these guys are around and we get an orb that has a lot of hearts in it, there's a really high chance that we could recruit the draggy since it's based on yokai rank. And since Azur Dragon is an S rank, he has a very low chance while the draggies are rank D. So they'll most likely join us. But this is the next step. We want to use yokai that cannot do a lot of damage here. I'm using two healers and a Robonyon just to soak up a little bit of damage. We want to stall the battle out for as long as possible, so a orb will appear. And okay, we're seeing his ultimate. Dragon Falls. We can definitely tank this since Robonyon is really, really uh, tanky, so this shouldn't be an issue at all. Looks re Oh my, okay, here it is. Oh my, okay, this is really, really low. Oh my god, I need to slow the, oh, okay. That is really, really awesome. So, if you stall the battle out long enough and you get a Wisp to appear, it has a chance to be a Golden Wisp, which can give you a lot of hearts, and I would be very surprised if we did not recruit him. That would be really, really awesome. We do have the Yokai with a popularity skill. We did have, it get, oh my god, yes, we got it. All right, we got our own Azur Dragon, and care to entwine our fates? Heck yeah, man. I don't know what that sneaking means, but get on my team. Azure Dragon will now join us. And yeah, that did not take me long at all. I did admittedly get a bit lucky since I got the golden orb and all, but if you just stall out long enough, you will eventually get, you get one orb per battle, so you have a decently high chance to get him. And oh my gosh, let's check out his stats really quickly. Not bad at all. That strength stat is pretty decent. He's all around a really good yokai, but I want to show off his combat prowess, so let's go do that real fast. And also save my game. Yeah, I really want to do that too. And all right, now that we've saved our game, and I also swapped my team around a little bit, I didn't have two Dragon Lords to show off here, so I had to just just, just pretend Blue Minoko was a uh, <laughs> dragon too. But yeah, let's show off Azur Dragon's fighting prowess. His ultimate is kind of on the generic side, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Dragon Falls looks really, really cool. Got all of the background there. He does water damage. Totally take care of Blazion, no problem. But yeah, Azur Dragon, he is definitely one of the cooler yokai. Another Wisp. If I could hit it, that'd be good. Oh, another. <laughs> We're getting tons of heart, it seems. But yes, if you follow my steps, all you really need to do is have some yokai that can soak up the damage to ensure the battle goes on for as long as possible. What I like to do then is have yokai in the back row that can do a lot of damage and end the battle really quickly so I can maximize the efficiency. <laughs> Man, that looks really cool. I wish uh, Blue Minoko had a similar ending screen though but as long as you do that and feed the Azur Dragon, oh, we didn't get recruitment that's fine though as long as you feed him the chili shrimp and you have a yokai with the popularity scale and you get the orb with the heart in it it's really only a matter of time if you found this video helpful at all though make sure to leave a like and let me know in the comments which yokai you'd like to see given a guide in a future video but yeah guys that's pretty much it hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next how-to video
Bye.